Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were here. You caught me watching my favorite film, Shrek. But like, the 1940s version where Donkey is an American bald eagle. <laughs> Come along with me, I want to show you something. Do you see the name on this door? Detective Cole Phelps. Well, that's me. But I wasn't always a detective, no. In fact, I used to be a beat cop. Just a regular guy, just walking down the street. It took a lot of hard work to get to the point where I can wear suits like this instead of shitty uniforms. In fact, I used to look just like this. I mean, I do cut a very striking figure, I will admit that, but being a regular old beat cop, not what my dream was. I wanted something more, something better. So let me tell you my origin story, how I became a detective. Hmm, I remember it like it was yesterday. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you saw that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Oh, dang. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. I mean, duh. Oh, thank God, the okay, cops. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. Hey, Ralph. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. Dicks. That's a good one, Ralph. Well, my cop instinct is telling me this man is dead. Hey, uh, Ralph, do you think we could talk a second? You know, I thought we were partners, but you came driving up here with that guy? I mean, you know, I thought we had like a special bond, but you kind of just threw me aside for him? Do you want to talk about that? I'm at a loss. We'll keep the witnesses on ice until you're ready, Cole. Why don't you have a look around? Okay. I mean, yeah, that's fine. We can, um, we can talk later. It's cool. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. He's dead. Clear this area immediately. Yep, get out of here, guys. What do you get? Oh, whoa, that's suspicious. What? What are they doing? Um, they're running away from the crime scene. They're running back to the crime scene. Hey, Ralph, that's weird, right? Well, we have a stiff, and it's up to me to solve the case. Judging by the bullet holes, I'm gonna say he was shot. Now, since we don't have CSI or Forensic, I'm just gonna put my hands all over this body. Uh, excuse me, sir. Ahem. Don't roll back over on your soul. Oh, you are very dead. Um, I'm just gonna pat you down, okay? See if you are carrying anything. Oh. What do we have here? Uh-huh. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Um, Ralph, I think I have solved the crime, everybody. Somebody wanted this man's pearl earrings, and they killed them for it, see? He doesn't have any in his ears. I think we can just lock this one up all set. Oh, what is that? Ooh. Some glowing bullet cases. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Very tiny. The person that shot him is not compensating for anything. Ralph, we're looking for a man with a giant penis. Is there anything else around the crime scene? Um, hey Ralph? Ralph, there's a, there's literally, like right in front of you. You are the worst cop ever. There's a gun right here. Oh. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Like um, run it by a gun store. Ma'am? 
Eagleson's gun stores a couple blocks from here. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Uh, let me just put this into my invisible pocket. Sir, you just let that lady pass, and she walked right over the dead guy. Some of us have work to do, buddy. Oh! Then do it. So, I'm told you have some answers for me, huh? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. And that's all I know. I expect the girl saw more than I did, officer. Um, okay, you, you can't just leave. Homicide arrives, Phelps. You can't leave. You think she's lying. Don't be afraid to get forceful. Th there's Verbal a dead guy. Force. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Ralph, the guy was here at a murder. There's a dead body right there. You can't just let him walk away. You are the worst cop. All right, let's check out the old shoe store. Ooh, these are styling. Look at the color. <laughs> I would kill for a pair of the... I mean, I wouldn't kill. I didn't mean... Anyway. Why, hello there, ma'am. You look very distraught. What's up? I suppose I must look a mess. No, no, you look fantastic. Um, Why are you just staring at me like that? I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Oh, I will be the judge of that. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Um, wasn't review evidence... Gaeta, the name on the voucher, the earrings? Or C for pearl earrings? C. Gaeta. It is. Interesting. So that's you, huh? Can I, can I draw on this? Oh, I can. Uh, Ma'am, have you ever thought about wearing glasses? Because, you know, I'm just doodling here, but it's a really good look on you. Maybe like a... A big old ponytail, too? I mean, no, this is a crude drawing, but... I think it could be a really good look. Like a soul patch? Some big sideburns? Ma'am, that is stylin'. Anyway, what's your eyewitness account? Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage... My boss bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was with you for like a half second there, and then you did a lot of shifty eye stuff, and then you cried and immediately stopped. So I really don't believe you anymore, um, and I know you had something to do with it because your name was on the thing. So I think when you have proof, you accuse. So accuse. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Oh... With evidence, my dear, this layaway voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. <sighs> Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang. And another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Um, 
the gunshot part or the falling to his knees part was more painful. Um, so we have a possible murder suspect with this Mr. Kalu, huh? Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. Hmm. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. I mean, I believe you. He really didn't do a good job of hiding the gun. Like, right on top of the trash. Um, I do believe you, so we're going to go good cop. So this Kalu character put five rounds in the back of Mr. Gage because he bad-mouthed his products? Yes, something like that. Um, I feel like you're holding out on me a little bit. So, give me the details of the shooting, please. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Um, I mean, I did just tell you there were five, um, but, you know, I think you're telling the truth. You look distraught, even though I think it's more about the earrings. So good cop again. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. Okay. And then another. Two. And then three very quickly boom, close boom, together. Boom. Five. Five. You answered my question you correctly. Help, You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... Oh, the earrings. My... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. He is awful at maintaining a perimeter. Just the worst. Is it, does that mean we're back together, Ralph? You know, buddy? It's fine. Clearly something happened between us and you don't want to discuss it. I'm still driving. Come on, Ralph. Hop in. Let's see. We can go to Eagleson's gun store or Hartfield's jewelry store. Well, let's go to the gun store just so we can make sure we get all the evidence that we possibly need. Set as destination. Perfect. You ready, buddy? Just like old times, you and me, back together. Ah, oh, I've missed driving around with you. All right, we good? Oh, uh, this car is coming. Let's wait. And we're gonna do a quick little Yui here. Watch out, people. Oh, no, okay, no, that's fine. You know, we just, um, love tap. Just a love tap. Hey, do you want to stop for Froyo afterwards? I think that'd be really tasty. What's your favorite flavor? I'm a fan of red velvet. And a quick little turn. Oh, well, this is fine. We're good. That's how you turn in LA in the 40s. Oh, oh, oh. We're just going to do a quick little... Uh, ooh, it's a shortcut. Straight. Keep it. Oh, very nice. Do you like this place, Ralph? Advice? Ask the guy about that serial number. Yeah, I will. That's why we're going in the store. Where are you going? Jeez, ah, oh, Ralph. No wonder we're not partners anymore. I can't freaking stand you. Hello, sir. That is an awesome bear you've got back there. I need to talk to you about a gun. Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. What? Ralph! Jeez. Ignore him. He's, he's an asshole. Can I go look at your bear? I'm just going to go check that out real quick, okay? Wow. Now this. This is a specimen. That a grizzly? Did you, uh, you kill that yourself? It's impressive. That's really good. You're a good hunter, huh? Oh. Hey, Ralph. 
Um, just, you know, I'm playing around with the... Uh, um, all right, Ralph, we should go. Come on, Ralph. Ay, ay, ay. Hartfield's Jewelry Store set as destination. Ralph, we have an eyewitness and a gun registered to the owner. This is a slam dunk. Let's get him. I should turn the car on. I oh, love the old timey stoplights. Why do you go at a green light? Get oh my god, I almost killed a man. But I had the right away, so it would have been legal. I'm a really good driver. Wow. Didn't we arrive at the other place at 236 too? That took us less than a minute, Ralph. This is a nice store. Look at this. Some nice time pieces. Collectible coins. You know, I might pick up something while we're here, okay? You know, solving a murder, but I want some coins. Ah, hello, sir. You're looking at the cutlery, I see. These aren't very good. You can do better. It's just fake. It's fake. Don't worry about it. You're welcome. Hello, sir. You must be Edgar Kalu. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He hmm. said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Oh. Well, that's trustworthy. Thank you. Oh, God, go, I Cole, fell go. for it so bad. I'm going to take this and throw it at him. I don't know what it is. Why can't I move? Oh, I can't move with objects. Oh, God, he's getting away. <laughs> There's a door. Ooh. I mean, that was kind of impressive. Oh, we're running. We're running. Edgar, I know you're back here. Oh, you just... Whoa. Hmm. Why, do you... oh, why does everyone want to start a fist fight with me? Hey, Ralph? Ralph, can you can you come help out? He's he's attacking me, and you're just kind of standing back there. <sighs> yeah, yeah, me and Ralph were having some issues. You know, we used to be partners, but he doesn't really help me out. He's just not a very good cop. I don't know why I'm <laughs> dishing this to you while we're having a fist fight, but you know, I want to get my emotions out Ooh, right in the gut. And you seem like a good guy, except for the whole murdering people thing. I win. You suck, Ralph. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Boom. <laughs> Ralph, you did nothing. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. What? I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. It was. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Oh, hell yeah. You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Well, thank you. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. Ooh. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. I don't think Takes so. a certain animal cunning, lad. Yeah, I don't have that. Do you think you might be ready for that? I really don't know. Yes, sir. I think I am. Never mind. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Uh... Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. What? Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Did you did you hear him? I have no idea what he's saying. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. But seriously, it'll be like a hundred dollars. I am here. To nail you, Mr. Kalu. And I'm the finest that the LAPD has. Uh, oh, this is you, huh? You know, if you add a beard, big, bushy beard, some longer hair, bit of a mustache, perhaps even a hat. Well, you're a dead ringer for Santa Claus. Well, you're unbreakable. Tell me about your argument. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. 
I feel like it did, and I have so much proof. Accuse. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. <laughs> Let's see, what should I start with? Uh, I'm going to go with the positive identification. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? Yes. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? Yes. You're going to the gas chamber. Whoa, Edgar. whoa, whoa. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Um, that got really dicey. Let's hold off on the epitaphs, all right? Uh, possible religious motive. Apparently there is. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? Damn. You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage I hated know. Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I I really like um oh I'm just gonna stay out of this one. Uh what what am I doing? I don't have any proof that he hated the Jews. But I know he's lying, so bad cop. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu. Ooh. I'm charging you with the first-degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Hey, um, have you seen a basketball around here? Because you just got dunked! Boom! Masterfully mm. done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Uh, for it? now... Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young folks. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Uh, ow. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I do like that. And that, my friends, is how I became the beautiful detective that you see before you but it wasn't all easy from there oh no the challenges oh they only got harder and in fact this next tale about my first case as a detective is so daring and majestic that you will weep tears of pure joy and sorrow next time